Here is the solution for question number 6 of the school assignment. The demand equation for a new product is P equals to minus 3x plus 25 where P is the price in dollars and X is the number of items sold in thousands. Remember, number of items sold in thousands. The cost function is C of X equals to 7x plus 15. Find the corresponding revenue. Now, revenue R of X is equals to X times demand function, which is P, right? So, this is actually P times X. So, revenue will be in thousands, right, of dollars. Find the corresponding profit function. Now, profit function is revenue minus cost, right? So, revenue, whatever you calculate from the part A, take away the given cost, which is CX. How many items sold should be sold to maximize the profit? So, in this profit function, you should do completing the squares, right, so that you get the maximum profit. So start with the quadratic equation which you're going to get for profit and do completing the squares. For break even you need to equate profit to zero. That means revenue is equal to cost. That is for break even. And here you should maximize using completing squares. So complete squares. So that is how this problem should be done, right? Let's write down our equation. Here, revenue is equals to P, which is minus 3X plus 25 times X. That gives you a quadratic equation of minus 3X squared plus 25X, right? Profit function will be revenue minus cost. That means minus 3X squared plus 25X minus, good to write it in brackets, 7x plus 15 and then when we simplify it we get minus 3x square 25x minus 7x gives us plus 18x and minus times plus is minus 15 right to find the maximum of the profit so we need to have maximum of px to find max of profit function it be at minus b by 2a. So if I use, you have to do completing the squares to get right. But anyway, I'm just giving you the answer and that should be at minus b by 2a. That should be minus b, that means minus 18 divided by 2 times minus 3. That should give me 6, right? 18 divided by 6, that is 3. So at x equals to 3, that means 3,000 items, right? You'll get maximum and, you know, that's how it should be. And you know how to do completing the squares. First step will be you have to factor of minus 3, right? Let me just show you that also here. Minus 3, you're getting x squared minus 6x. And then what you have to do is half of this, add and subtract square of that. That means half of 6 is 3, so add and subtract 3 square, right? Minus 15. So these three first three terms form a perfect square, right? And then which is, of course, x minus 3 whole square. And when you open it, you'll get minus 3 times this. And minus 3 times square of 3 is 9, so you get plus 27 minus 15. So you get that answer, 3. Okay. Now, as far as break-even point is concerned, you have to equate the equation to zero. That means P of X equals to zero and break-even. You can even factor this and then get the answer. So that means you could do minus three common for the whole equation, right? You get X squared and 18 divided by three is six with a minus sign. Since we took minus three common outside, this becomes plus, right? five right so the two numbers which will give you product as five and sum as minus six are five and one right so those are the two numbers which will be the answer five and one so either it be x equals two so you could write this as let me just squeeze it in here minus three x minus five times x minus one so the answer could be either five 
or 1000 remember to write thousands of dollars okay so x has to be in thousands profit in thousands of dollars that's how you should be doing this question okay thank you